Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin Guzman, and our topic for today is Properties of the Graph of a Quadratic Function for Grade 9 Mathematics. Remember that the graph of a quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is called parabola. So in this particular math tutorial video, we'll talk about the properties of the graph of a quadratic function. So namely the opening, the vertex, axis of symmetry, domain and range, as well as the intercepts. So let's talk about the opening. So a parabola opens upward or downward. So recall that if A is greater than 0, or it means this is positive, the parabola opens upward. On the other hand, if A is less than 0, or if A is negative, the parabola opens downward. So that is why we have opening upward and opening downward. So let's move on to the vertex. So it has a turning point called vertex, which is either the lowest point or the highest point of the graph. So if we will consider this illustration, so if the value of A is greater than 0, it means the positive. So the parabola has a minimum point. So this is the illustration. So this is the vertex, which is the minimum. On the other hand, if A is less than 0 or negative, the parabola has a maximum point. So if this is the illustration, this is the vertex or the highest or the maximum point. So let's move on to the third property, so which is the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is a line which divides the graph into two parts, which such that the one half of the graph is a reflection of the other half. So if we will consider this illustration, this line is the axis of symmetry. Also, this is our axis of symmetry. Take note that if the quadratic function expressed in the form of y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, the line x is equal to h. So we have here x is equal to h is the axis of symmetry. So and k is the minimum or the maximum value of the function. Here, k is the minimum value, while here, k is the maximum value. So let's move on to the fourth property of the graph of a quadratic function, which is domain and range. So the domain of a quadratic function is the set of all real numbers. So the range depends on whether the parabola opens upward or downward. So take note that if opens upward, so the range is the set of y such that y is greater than or equal to k. So meaning to say this is the minimum value. However, if it opens downward, then the range is the set of y such that y is less than or equal to k. So we call this one as the maximum value. Let's move on now to the intercepts. So this is the point at which the parabola intersects the axis or an axis is known as the intercept. So by the way, let's consider this illustration. So the x-intercept is the point where the curve crosses the x-axis. So we have here in this particular example, we have two axes here. So there are two points such that the curve or the parabola made this x-axis. On the other hand, so the y-intercept is the point where the curve crosses the y-axis. So this is the y-intercept. So we have here the point. Now that you know the properties of the graph of a quadratic function, so let's answer this practice exercise. So determine the following in the given quadratic function, the domain, range, axis of symmetry, vertex, and direction of the opening of the parabola. 
So let's consider this uh, quadratic function. The y is equal to 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 4. So the domain is from negative infinity to the positive infinity. So we have the plus real number. And the range is actually greater than or equal to 4 because it opens upward since the value of a here is positive. And the axis of symmetry is negative 3 because you will get the additive inverse of positive 3. It means the opposite of positive 3 which is negative 3. Well, the vertex, as I mentioned, get the opposite of positive 3 and copy here the 4. So we have negative 3, positive 4. And of course, the opening is upward. On the other hand, if we have y is equal to negative times x minus 2 squared minus 2. So the domain is real number and the range is, of course, y is less than or equal to negative 2. So this is the mean, uh, actually the maximum value because it opens downward, because here A is negative. So the axis of symmetry get the additive inverse of negative 2, which is positive 2. And of course, our vertex now is 2, get the uh, additive inverse of negative 2, which is positive 2, and we have here negative 2. And of course, it opens downward. And finally, we have y is equal to negative 5 times x minus 2 thirds squared. So the range is still the, okay, real number. Or I should I say the domain is real number. So from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, so the range is actually less than or equal to 0. So we have here the value of k is equal to 0. And the axis of symmetry the additive inverse of negative 2 thirds is positive 2 thirds. So that is why this is x is equal to 2 thirds. And our vertex is 2 thirds, the opposite of negative 2 thirds, and the k is equal to 0. And don't forget, this is actually downward. So that ends our discussion on the properties of a graph of a quadratic function. So this is Teacher Onen de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.